Hi everyone, Crafty Patty here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a Skinner blend. So what you will need will be female. Um, I use female for my canes because it is um, a harder and more durable um, clay. So today I will be using female soft plum and female soft white. So this is going to be a simple um, Skinner blend tutorial so I recommend to always um, when you're starting off doing Skinner blends to always start off white and a dark color. Until you get used to making Skinner blends then we can move on to all sorts of different colors together. So that's what you will need. You will also need a blade, a rolling tool or rolling pin, and a pasta machine. So let's get started. So the first thing you will do is take your rolling pin and you know roll it out. I already rolled this one out as you can see. So I roll it out and then we're gonna pass it through the pasta machine. So first we're gonna pass the purple just like so and I have it on a number one setting which is the six thickest setting and we're to get a strip just like this so that I'm going to pass it again and then you get something a nice big sheet just like so so now we're going to um, form the Skinner blend so hold on all right so we're going to um cut off some of the clay here and yes I use a whole entire block when I make canes um, because I like to have extra so we're gonna make a square and then I'm just gonna lay this one on top Not, don't press it, just on top so you can um, kind of mark um, to make them equal um, parts, make them equal size. So, okay, I'm not using that anymore. I know which side the blade is on. So, okay, white, why aren't you cutting? Okay, it's not cutting. Alright, so then you're going to cut diagonally to make triangles, just like so. And then it cut all the way. So then you're going to pull them apart, and don't worry about that white being there. Pull them apart. Okay, so you're going to overlap and make two thick squares. Two thick squares, um, two thick triangles, sorry about that. Okay, just like so. And then you're going to do the same with the purple. Sorry that my hand is in the way. But you know, it's kind of hard not being able to see what you're doing. And then you're going to just put them together. And then we're going to roll a little bit, just so we can get them you know stuck together here and then you turn it around and do the other side so that's basically it Ooh, sorry about that so there you go so on to the next part which is the long part all right okay so I'm back and you're gonna leave it on your number one setting which is the thickest setting on your pasta machine. Um, some pasta machines are number nine, the thickest setting. So make sure you check that out. Okay. Very important. Um, I always do it like this because you have to, have to remember this white part needs to always be on the outside. Don't um, forget that because if it's very simple to make a Skinner blend, 
but if you forget that the white is on the outside and put it in the wrong way, you will mess up the blend. So, I do it like this. So, uh, color and white below, put together like this, and you're going to put it in the pasta machine like this, and always remember that the white side is the side that's going to be on your right, I think. Yeah. So, here we go. So when you pull it down, it's going to come out like a strip like this. You're going to fold it up and remember that the white side is always on this side. And you're always, every time you pass it through the pasta machine, you're going to be folding up. And remember that this side, I, I, I cannot express that the most because you will mess up the Skinner blend if you don't pay attention to this. So here we go again. And sorry, my um, pasta machine ain't um, in a good place. I had to put it here. So you're gonna fold up. Just like so. And you're gonna pass it again. And we're gonna keep passing it for about 25 times. The color will start blending. As you can see, it's starting to blend a little bit. So then you're gonna keep folding up. Even if the white goes away, you need to always remember which side the white was on. So I'm going to pass it through a couple more times and keep showing you how the shading is going. So be right back. Okay, so after the 10th time, your skin or brown will start to look like this. As you can see. Just like so. So you're going to keep passing it and always remember that the white is on this side. And always fold it up. You gotta remember these things or you will mess up the skin of them. Alright, so we're gonna keep passing. And passing. And I'm gonna pass a couple more times and I'll be right back. Alright, so this is like the 15th or 16th time I pass it. And as you can see, let me just back up a little bit here. As you can see, the blend is starting to form from dark to light. So we're going to keep passing it. Sometimes it takes more than 25 times. It all depends. So you got to keep remembering to put it, folding it up and keeping the white on the right side or depending how you have your pasta machine. But uh, yeah, so it's really fairly easy. You just gotta remember that one specific thing. So I'm just gonna keep passing it and passing it and see the shading is starting to form. So I'm gonna pass it all the way through and show you what the end result is. All right, so be right back. All right guys, so this is the end result. As you can see, dark, and then it goes all the way to light. So it's really pretty easy, you just gotta remember a couple things. So I hope you like this tutorial and it helps you guys out. Um, I will be doing another one to show you how to do a jelly roll cane. Alright guys, rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye!